Hello, and welcome to episode 8 of Escaping from the Tarkov Ahar Dekor series um, with your boy here, Hardcork. Um, it's actually been several days since I've been on this account. Um, I've been working on getting the video right and everything like that, um, but I'm thinking we just jump right into it. So we've got our kit all set up from last time. Um, quick reminder, which I'm sure you may, may or may not need. Um, got a bunch of gear here uh, saved up, a bunch of barter goods. But really one of the things that we're really eyeing on um, is getting hoses and screws. I think we just need a couple more screws. Let's double check on that before we load in here. It's my belief that we, if I'm remembering correctly, um, we just need a couple of screws. Yep, I think we need two screws and then we're ready to upgrade our water collector. Which is nice. Um, we got some wires ready. We got the water collector finished. We have some meds built here, but we can keep them in there for now. So let's go ahead and hop into a raid. I think we're just going to continue to do some interchange runs, uh, hit up some toolboxes. I think that will be a good fit to, um, we're going to wear our sunglasses so we look cool. I'm going to take the mask off actually. That does trade for a P.E.K.K.A. Okay. Seventeen minutes. The interchange. Yeah. So the goal for this raid, kind of depending on where we spawn, there's lots of lots of different places that we can find some toolboxes. Um, so uh, I think that's going to be our best bet for screws. There are some good loose spawns for screws as well, but uh, I think you know, kind of the early game of the hardcore series is certainly going to be. Um, quite a bit of just barter good finding. My my real goal is that when we're doing anything in the future that we're just going to have enough space to be able to keep the things that we acquire. It's really um, the best way to do that is going to be um, working toward getting some cases, some mag boxes, um, some lucky scab junk boxes, and uh, some ammo boxes as well. And the lavatory is really going to be our best way to um, get at a couple of those things. So. Level 2 lab is going to be a big deal. Having this level, uh, our last level 4 armored rig. Hopefully we can uh, pull through with that here. But, uh, yeah, maybe we'll see some PMCs get a little bit of action up in this. Um, grab some good gear for some future raids. I'm happy that we at least have some weapons lying around. We got another one of the Mossbergs. So, uh, boy that died is now the boy who lives. It's a reincarnation of Mossy number one. We got Mossy number two. So, yeah. We'll see what kind of spawn we get here. Whether we late spawn or not. Nope, we got a waiting for players. That's good. I'm sure you guys know, but anytime you see waiting, um, waiting for players, of course, it means that you're not going to be late spawning and that it's going to give you the timer for the countdown. Yeah, I'm wondering, you know, I've kind of been thinking a little bit over the last couple days about some maybe mid, mid-range um, goals, some mid-range strategies for getting some more PvP-oriented gear. Because I think that's one of the things that sounds really fun to me on this account is like getting up enough of an economy, um, getting enough of a base stash that we can actually PvP and be like even medium, mediumly effective. And I think trying to farm some raiders um, sounds like a pretty reasonable way to do that. And I'm wondering if the customs raiders would be a good place to start because they're um, just so bad, right? But we'll see um, We'll see how that works out moving forward. Also, there's a nice path on customs for a lot of um, weapon attachments, so I can actually start building some things that are a little more PvP viable. This is a pretty good spawn for us. Um, we... Uh, there's a lot of toolboxes in this area, good chance for screws, a couple of stashes. Um, so once I get inside, I'm going to start going quiet. So that I uh, will outsnake anybody who's rushing here. I just realized I need to turn my volume up on my computer. This is in, uh, yeah. Yep, whatever my thought was before, clearly wasn't that important. 
Okay. Got a chance to get some keys as well. I believe I have one of those. Yep, which would make sense as to why I haven't discovered already. I'm going quiet, um, because I definitely want to get the drop on anybody who might be approaching. I have a lot of lamps saved up. Probably going to get to the point pretty soon where I can no, no longer really accommodate grabbing them. That being said, if I have the space, I can always vendor them. If you'll use a little bit later on, but I believe it does vendor for like 25k. One G phone, spark plug. Okay. Everybody usually closes that door. I always find that a little suspicious. Guess I pressed R. Don't really know what the barters are for the USBAs. I do need the bulbs, so it's a good find. Matches are decent. Nobody ever. Mine's getting some extra painkillers. Don't believe I need the power supply yet, but I certainly do in the future, so let's just grab it for now. Same for this stuff. Go ahead and use this, and then we'll move something down. Whenever you spawn here, Emercom is your exit, but I will double check that. Okay. A quick look, see Lou. Couple toolbox over this way. The computer, the other computer, computer supplies, like the circuit boards and stuff, they're going to be so easy to come by when we actually need them. Like, they're really easy to farm on interchange. Um, quite a few pretty safe looting paths. I'm sure you've seen already with how I've been getting these hard drives. This is a good stock. It's probably worth my space. Um, that's just an MPX adapter. Don't need that. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and leave that here for now. Actually, let's, let's follow our advice here. Got those other computer supplies. So what we're going to do here is run over to the stash here. And then sometimes when you go over to the stash here, you get enough space so that scavs will actually spawn back there. So I usually head back to check it out. Pretty full up on space. Oof, all these decisions, right? All right, we're gonna follow our other advice. Drop the lamp, the BT. We're, we get plenty of lunch boxes out of here as well, so we'll drop that for the duct tape, which is half of a car med kit.
Go back in here and check it out for a scav spawn. Then we'll head an idea, hit up just a couple toolboxes, and then probably head for exfil and rinse repeat. Don't hear any scavs. We can check it out over here, I don't mind. Spending a little time for that. Alright, so we're going to want to stam all the way up before we run across. So I want to be able to make it up the ramp if, I, if possible. Pretty far away. That shooting. Um, let me check my setting on this thing real quick. Yep, okay. Just give me two screws. Shoes we need for something, but I'm not going to prioritize it yet. I can't remember how early it is. Metal cutting scissors. We will need those. Um, dropping the power supply for right now. You see, this is, you know, I know I've kind of talked about it in the previous couple episodes, but how much I prioritize bag space is like, all this stuff is good, right? And like, this is a decent sized bag as far as um, hardcore account is concerned. That tri-zip was really quite a, quite a find for us. Not sure about the utility of a wrench at this point in the playthrough, but... Usually like to creep over wood. So the sound carries so such a far distance. So we could pop into idea for a minute just to see what we can find. D bat, okay, those two. Right now I'm good on bags. I'd rather have a couple more meds, and everything else is good. Um Realistically, actually, we'll drop that and that for now. Um, I think I want the screwdriver over the wrench. I think those are elite pliers. That's actually really nice. We need one more pair. It's a good run for us. So as safely as possible, we're going to want to traverse through here. Honestly, I have no idea what nippers really do for us. Couple things to loot in here. There's a bag in this crate. We'll creep up to. Then there's a toolbox back there. Bulb is pretty nice. Cyclone. All good stuff. I think at this point we drop our dollars. This is for a quest. 
think we dropped the D fuel right now. So we'll sell for more. Okay. Just inside the mall there. All right, gotta be aiming high. I wanna make sure I get it on eye on any movement before they get their eye on me. No idea what I'm dropping next. Probably this hard drive. Hmm, our pliers. Let's drop that for this. Grab another tape, just so we can get our med supplies up even further. Another D fuel there. Okay, so loot it out. Um, that barter's for grenades that will craft into green gunpowder. Green gunpowder is like some of our most reliable access to high tier ammo. So, even though it's for a little bit later on, I think it's worth prioritizing. Lots of R priors. Nice to see some elites. Boy, any kind of player you can imagine, truthfully. Another shoes. Another player, that's funny. Again, walking quietly over loud surfaces. Gen 2. I'm trying to think about what Gen, Gen 2 goes on. I don't think it's worth taking over anything we have here. Let's check the ammo box. It's been looted. Go back around for a regular path here. I'm gonna go up the stairs just to peek to make sure nobody's on the balcony. Looking clear. I feel like I'm hearing crunching to my left, but really hard to tell. Be scabs below me. Be surprised if they haven't yelled yet.
Taz is helpful. Also, we really need this. Okay, so we're taking that, we're dropping that, that, the R pliers. Dropping that, that, um, keeping the scissors. Dropping the Amelia. And we're gonna bag stack the skip. Ow, oh, dude. I actually think we drop the battery, the duct tape, and... Okay, yeah. I don't know why I have those still. Put that there and there. Oh, that's really nice. Quest item or another level 4 rig. Can we take both? Cannot take both. Put that there. Gonna need the mags. Okay. Whip out that mag. I made a ton of noise. I don't know why I'm being so cavalier about how long I'm taking the loot here. The mask on. It's for search XP. Surprised those scavs took so many shots to kill. Maybe I need to aim a little more for head. Okay, we'll permit out here. Basically just hoping for no one here. Kind of assuming there isn't. Considering uh we made a lot of noise, nobody did anything about it. Alright. Stomach, left leg, interesting. Yeah, a lot of a lot was absorbed by those armors. It's definitely a judgment call. I'm definitely gonna buy the thing to get rid of that fracture. Um, I just don't like I don't like the concept that those exist between raids. Um, so that's the exception I'm making, right? Some people have made the exception to heal between raids. I'm gonna make the exception to be able to fix fractures and bleeds between raids. Unless I have a splint, in which case I'll just use it. I'll just use it, okay. Thirty-seven, thirty-eight. I'm gonna spend the extra cash to go for the better repair. <sighs> yep. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> oh, that is a real fucking kick in the nuts. For those of you who didn't notice, um, I very certainly stacked my bags in there and then I didn't put them both on. So everything I had in there, all that good shit. At least we didn't have any screws. Didn't have any screws, so not a big deal. We'll be fine. <laughs> That's so dumb. <sighs> okay, we do have this, so we'll sell this off. We'll bring the cyclone up here for sale. 
That should be enough healing between these two for our next raid. Plug will bring down here. Boy, how stupid. I'll take that off. Oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> oh, baby. Okay. All right, dust it off. Get ready for the next one. Okay, we've got this, this, and this. Um, our stomach's healing back up. We can go ahead and use a little bit of this Salewa. Get her all the way up. Um, let's put on our MBSS. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling it too, boys. I'm feeling it too. Okay. Interchange. All right, let's double check. I've got the ammo. I've got my mags, helmets, thing. It's repaired. I've got the meds I need. We fixed everything. We're okay on food and drink. Um, just because we'll just bring the apple juice and we'll chug it when we get there. All right, let's grab a water while we load in here. Oh, those are the moments, aren't they, right? Those are the moments that make you feel like you're a professional Tarkov player. Well, on the bright side, at least we didn't have any screws that we couldn't bring with us. Like we didn't accidentally leave any screws. Whoa. <clears throat> okay, so we have options here. We can hit up stashes. We can go straight at power station and look for a fight. I'm like a little tilted, so I'm actually feeling inclined to fight, just to see how it goes. Um, also, the loot that I want is really at Power Station for, for this particular route, so... Let's go ahead and do something that we know is stupid. Um, which is head over to Power Station. We're gonna have to run, so we don't want to give up position, but we have to.
Someone was here. They popped the switch. Okay. Did they already leave? That's crazy if they already left. Okay, yeah, maybe they popped the switch and went in. No bathroom, boys. Ugly. Alright. Watch, they come out just as I'm drinking my apple juice. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. That's where I wish I had my headset still. Is that a mark? No. God, I'm stupid. No. Of course it's not. I would love a marked room key. That would be pretty huge. Yeah, just checking the last nooks and crannies of this place. They looted these. They're just so weird. Things they looted. I just don't understand. They might still be here. I need to be careful. Getting a lot of keys for customs. Grab it for the XP. I looted the computer. I got here fucking hella fast. So bizarre. Let's see if they looted the stash. Looks unmolested. What do we got here? Nothing good. Playing this a little slow. Just want to be sure that he's not here still. I'm guessing he was just still back here when I went inside. Oh shit. from that range, apparently. Hundred eighty two damage, though. <sighs> Shame none of them were headshots. All right. Uh, I was ill advised to open up on him at that range. Okay, let's see what the damage is. All right, no bleeds, no fractures. 
All right, let's uh, get re-kitted out here. All right. Man, if we had a gun like this in that moment, we probably would have been just fine. Um, I think we bring out the mossy. Okay. Bring out a pack of scab vests. MBSS. I don't even think we're going to bring out a helmet this time. I'd rather save it for a better kit. Um, okay. Right, so we're going to want this and then that. Bring out some extra Grizz. Drop the keys off. No idea if any of these are important, but it's nice to have them. Bring three extra just to load in directly. Just eat the humpback here. Oh yeah, we gotta do some out of raid healing. We can heal that. I don't think we can heal anything else. Let's use cheeses for the rest. Whew, felt like we were doing great for meds, but all of a sudden. Uh, we can do a couple duck. We can do at least one duct tape. Harder. So we can do that now. Nice. All right, so it's not that bad. Okay. Let's pop back in. Good. I wanted to bring this AP-20. This would be the gun to use it with. So I have that nice rear sight. Mm, we can keep going with this. Day time again. Heck is really just for the scavs, so don't get dusted off. Yeah, we basically got unlucky not to hit him in the head there. What a, what a weird play by that guy to just prone instantly. Interesting play. Pretty fast, uh, pretty fast load there. Synchronizing. Ninety six per cent. Ninety seven.
All right, very late spawn. Okay. For some reason my alt key was stuck. All right. We need to win here. I mean, our first raid was technically a win, but really didn't feel that way when you lose your nice bag and all the stuff inside. And a second bag. <laughs> uh. Alright, so now we know a little bit better what that buckshot will do reliably from range. Let's fill this up. Slugs. Gasoline is really nice. I'm just going to use it. I like to be pre med. So the thing is, if dying with a 10 out of 10 Vaseline, I'd rather just use the charges as I get them. Keep that, keep that, keep the TT. Oh, let's see if they overlooked anything. People miss this one for some reason. Fuses are good. Lots to sell. Bolts are good. Just because we had such a late spawn, I think we're going to continue to do stashes. Probably we'll go through scab camp, maybe try to grab some scab gear. I need this for any reason. Red gunpowder is really good. We'll be able to craft with it at some point, not too too far from now. I'm seeing somebody out in front of me here. I am so screwed. That's the hardcore experience for you right there. I wonder how much I wonder how much damage he absorbed cuz I think he has a face shield.
Let's see. Oh, it's so disappointing. A hundred percent. A hundred percent I had headshots there. Um, I'm guessing a majority of this 200 damage was on his arm at the end there. Oh, that's such a bummer. All right, I got a fracture. All right, well, truthfully, that concludes episode eight. Uh, not quite the progress we were hoping for in this one, but uh, we're clearing out some stash space, so there's something to be said about that. Thanks for tuning in. Um, join me next time, and uh, have a good day out there.